Hey guys, Steph here, founder of Nourish, and on today's video we are talking about the second chakra, the sacral chakra. This is part of our series, Seven Day Detox, Chakra and Sugar Cleanse. So yesterday we did the root chakra, I was wearing red, today is orange, good thing I kept this orange shirt. Orange is the color um, for the sacral chakra, so every time you see orange today, just take a moment, become aware, and focus on the breath. Um, if you have orange, you can wear it today. If not, no worries. Um, so some of the things with the sacral chakra, it's our money chakra, our sexual so chakra, our power chakra. It's the second one up. Um, so for yoga, we focus on hip openers. The poses that we have in your email are dancer's pose, child's pose, triangle pose. These are all hip openers. So um, if you forget what poses to do, just focus on the hips. And we're going to be at the end of this video doing a five minute restorative pose because I know a lot of you guys are doing this before bed. So we'll do five minutes of child's pose to really open up the hips and breathe into the sacral chakra. So if you're just joining in, it's not too late to join our detoxes. We start on Mondays um, and we do Sunday setup. So the next one will be on Sunday um, to set up for the week and it's five days, uh, Monday to Friday, we do a nutrition portion. Um, really to cut those sugar cravings. So sometimes we have sugar cravings for three different reasons. It might be deficiencies. So we're correcting those with the appropriate vitamins, minerals, uh, macronutrients, micronutrients. It might be, 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 your sugar cravings might be because of habit. So say you are in the habit of an afternoon cookie. You're in the habit of eating potato chips after dinner. We are correcting this by adding in simple, easy things each day. So maybe you're correcting that habitual um, craving with a shake. A nice, nice healthy shake every time you're going to go for that cookie you go for the shake maybe instead of potato chips before bed and TV you're doing a short little yoga pose so the second reason for cravings is often habitual the third is hormonal or cortisol driven um, this just means stress we're all stressed our world is um, kind of stress inducing so we're, we're we are rewarded for being go 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 fast paced so instead of getting pissed off and mad at the world, just do something that's good, which is focusing on the breath, the parasympathetic state. I love talking about the rest and digest state. So this is you, if you're eating healthy, you're exercising, but you still have a little bit of belly fat. It could be that cortisol's jacked. It could be that you're just so stressed out and your body never gets to rest and digest. And sometimes we don't even know it. So say you go to a power yoga class that's not getting you into the parasympathetic state. It doesn't, it doesn't mean stop going to the power yoga class, it just means become more aware. So how you know you're getting into that rest and digest state is your heart rate slows down, your breath slows down, your body gets a little chilly. So what we're gonna be doing at the end of the video here is five minutes of restorative yoga, my favorite. Um, I know it's hard to do, we never, none of us want to actually slow down, but it's the best thing we can do for this if your problem is you're stressed out or it's cortisol or hormonal related. Um, and some of the other things that we do in our lives we, when we sleep, you might not actually be getting into that rest and digest state. If you wake up exhausted, um, if your mind's going throughout the night, it might mean that your hunger hormones aren't being released properly. So it always helps to do this um, routine and getting into that rest and digest state, whether that's going to massages, getting reflexology, doing an hour of meditation. What we're doing in this program is just five minutes, five minutes of restorative yoga. And what that's doing is it's tapping us into that parasympathetic state so that you can be in tune with the breath. And this doesn't have to be fancy. This can be in your car before you go to work. This can be in your car before you um, come home from work. This can be in your office as you shut the door. This can be five minutes before bed, even in bed. It doesn't have to be this huge thing. Um, my branding and Nourish is all about quick, easy, simple things we can add in to cut cravings and drop weight without any fuss, without counting calories, without stepping foot in the gym. Um, so this program is perfect for you if you are sick and tired of calorie counting, if you just don't have time for all these nonsense, um, you don't want to be cooking and doing all this meal prep, you just want some quick easy things to incorporate. Um, it's called 7 Day Sugar and Chakra Detox. Um, hit me up in the comments if you want more details. Okay, so some of our affirmations for this chakra are, I love myself, I trust rather than control, I am worthy of pleasure. 
I am blissful every day. I am prosperous and peaceful. So all these affirmations are actually in your email for the day. And if you haven't joined our program, you can totally still join us for the yoga portion. And if you are interested in joining for next week, let me know. It's 129. That includes your supplements for the week, your probiotics, um, shakes, if you opt in for the shakes, as well as the seven daily emails with the chakra information and the yoga. Okay, so today I'll just show you in your email um, to balance out the uh, sacral chakra, we're looking at dancer's pose, child's pose, triangle pose. These are all hip openers. So basically any hip openers are going to work with um, to really focus in on this chakra. So I'll show you those three really quick. If you're doing this in the morning, you can do a more energizing hip opener, which would be our standing poses, our triangle poses, dancer's pose. I know most of you guys are doing this before bed, so I'll turn on the five minute timer and our music for child's pose, and we'll do that for five minutes. Um, because keep in mind, even if you're just rushing through these yoga poses, you're not actually doing the trick of getting into that rest and digest. So it's not about just checking it off. Oh, did my dancer's pose? Oh, did my triangle? It's about focusing on the breath and really tuning in and becoming aware of your body. So five minutes is a really good time to tap into that. And if you don't have five minutes, do 60 seconds, set a timer and just focus on the breath instead of rushing through the poses just to get them done because yes you'll get a little bit of a stretch but what we're really trying to do here with our third reason why cravings might occur is tap into that rest and digest state and get out of that cortisol driven mode which we're all in most of the time i'm guilty of it for sure i get so excited and I, even though i seem like a calm person i definitely this is something that i work on every single day doesn't mean you have to go to 10 day meditations like I do. Um, you can certainly just do this each and every day with 60 seconds of breath work or five minutes of yoga nidra or restorative yoga, what we're gonna do right now. All right, so I'll just show you our three poses really quick and then we'll get into five minutes of child's pose, which is our pose for the day. Um, it might seem like you get sleepy, but it actually energizes you. So perfect before bed but it's also good on your lunch break or say you work in an office and you're super tired and exhausted and you want to go grab that coffee do this and then go grab your coffee and see like how your energy is before um before you grab the coffee and you'll notice that even though you're chilling out and resting it actually energizes you in the long run so we'll get started with i'll just um, outline those poses from our um, email and then we'll do our five minutes of restorative yoga all right, so the first one, you don't really want to just get into dancer's pose. It's um, kind of an intense pose. So you can do, um, if you're doing this in the morning, you can do a little flow or just gently get into it. Don't just express right into the pose. You'll probably hurt yourself. So dancer's pose is the fancy one you always see on Instagram. Um, and basically you're just taking, it's a hamstring and hip stretch. So. This could be your pose. This is actually how far I go in dancer's pose. I don't go any further because I lose my breath. And the whole point of this is to actually calm down, right? We're trying to get out of that cortisol. So this would be your dancer's pose. You can certainly, if you don't feel anything, go further. And you're tracking your knee straight back and pushing your hand into your foot. The second half is of course incorporating the arm, but here we're focusing on the sacral chakra. So we really wanna stay within the breath so that we're staying in the pose and we're not stopping the breathing. Um, so that would be dancer's pose just here or if you wanna go full into it. Um, our second one is triangle pose. So with triangle pose, you wanna have a nice wide stance um, lining your heel up with your back arch. And we're gonna do straight legged triangle. So you, you don't wanna be collapsing into the knee. You wanna be pulling up through, using the muscles in your legs, engaging. And again, the sacral chakra, we're opening up through the hip. So um, with triangle pose, you actually wanna keep a long line here and a triangle um, as you reach forward and you're bending down just a little bit because you're actually expressing up. You don't, this is not what we do. Um, the whole point is to open up through here, through the hips. So you're resting your hand down without putting any pressure on your knee, but you're actually reaching up and opening your heart. So that's our triangle pose. And again, we're focusing on opening up the sacral chakra. Um, 
these are great energizing poses for the morning. And I know most of you guys are doing this at night before bed. So um, if what all you do for the day is the child's pose that we're about to do, then fantastic. So triangle pose, again, other side, you always wanna do both sides. And if you're doing this in the morning, you can set your timer for two and a half minutes, do two and a half on each side, making sure to stay engaged in the legs and really focusing on opening up through the hips. Okay, so let's turn on our timer. We'll do five minutes of child's pose for those of you that are doing this before bed. Let's do this. Five minutes, here we go. Nice wide knees if you want to get into the hips. You can put a pillow or uh, something here to support your chest if you want it to be even more restorative. And focusing on the breath, when your mind starts to wander, just come back to the breath. And just like we did yesterday, you can body scan through your body up and down, stopping at the sacral chakra just to do three deep breaths. Um, I won't be talking because it, my voice will be muffled. And if you put your head to one side, make sure to switch it halfway through. 